Hello all, in this video we are going to deal about the cofferdams. Cofferdams, what are they and where are they located on board ships? So cofferdams are nothing but white spaces and in simple terms these are just empty spaces just provided to isolate two different fluids. We will now understand the purpose of cofferdam by seeing this picture which is shown on the screen. Here you have the engine room forward bulkhead and before which if it's an oil tanker it's going to be the pump room and if it's a bulk carrier that's going to be the cargo hold. And here is the main engine lube oil sump surrounding which is the cofferdam and you have lots of other tanks like the fuel oil overflow tank, main sludge tank or the separated bilge oil tank as shown here and the diesel oil storage tanks 1 and 2, the main lube oil storage tank, bilge holding tank and stern tube lube oil drain tank. So these tanks are carrying different fluids or liquids in them. We don't want these fluids or liquids to mix up and cause contamination. For that reason, we have provided coffer dams between all these tanks. And depending on the ship design, you need not have a coffer dam between all the tanks. The ship manufacturer or the designer may decide which are the critical tanks which require coffer dam. To exaggerate and understand, I have shown the coffer dams in the shaded portion between each and every tank. One important thing what you have to note is the manhole door location and the numbers. You have a minimum of two manhole doors located diagonally opposite to each other so that during man entry into the coffer dam which is supposed to be an enclosed space you can pump in a lot of fresh air and the exhaust is taken out from this coffer dam manhole door. So for that reason you have two diagonally opposite manual doors. So you have a diesel oil storage tank 1 and 2 here. So if there is a crack in this bulkhead the diesel oil will mix with this diesel oil. So it will not cause a serious contamination or uh, some other major havoc. But however if there is no cofferdam between the lube oil sump and the diesel oil storage tank and if there appears to be a crack the diesel oil mixes with the lube oil or the lube oil mixes with the diesel oil. Either way it's a costly affair for the ship manager. So for that reason cofferdams are provi provided. If some crack appears on the bulkhead the diesel oil will leak into the cofferdam upon which we have to take regular sounding of the coffer dam and we will come to know yes there is a leakage and we can identify easily without any contamination and empty the tank. Sometimes you can find the coffer dams between the two freshwater tanks. I will describe with the help of a diagram later and let's see the next picture. Alright, so here is the general view. I have just drawn this uh, just to understand. This is not up to the scale, this diagram. So here we have the bunker tanks, heavy fuel oil bunker tank port side 1, 2, 3 and the starboard side 1, 2, 3. These are wing tanks and you have a water ballast tank here. Between these two tanks, that is the between the water ballast tank and the heavy fuel oil tank, you definitely have a coffer dam which is shown red in color. If not, if there is a leakage happening in the bulkhead between the heavy fuel oil and the water ballast tank there will be a huge contamination result, resulting in pollution so you have a coffer dam here and if you have a fresh water tank storage tank forward of the engine room just after the water ballast tank you do have a coffer dam here just to avoid contamination of seawater or freshwater contamination by seawater so this is one such arrangement you can find and one more is the coffer dams which are provided between each and every cargo tank let's say in case of oil tankers or in sometimes chemical tankers let's say you carry two different types of chemicals separated by one single bulkhead and if this bulkhead cracks or some, something happens up you end up 
in mixing of two different chemicals which will lead to a hazardous reaction and might cause a serious havoc. So for that reason you have a cofferdam here and you got to regularly sound the cofferdams and sounding pipes are provided for that purpose. Also bilge suctions are provided in the cofferdams. And in case of oil tankers the pump room itself acts as a cofferdam. It's a wide space but of course it's enclosed space which is provided between the cargo tank and the engine room. And this one shows the coffer dam between the cylinder oil and the fresh water or fuel oil storage tanks over here. This is the usual arrangement. In one of the engine room decks you will have heavy oil service and settling tanks and you will be having cylinder oil tanks just forward of it. But it's very rare scenario for someone to note there is a coffer dam between the lube oil tanks and the fuel oil tanks. But definitely there will be a small partition between them which is which will definitely have a sounding pipe and a bilge suction but not connected to the bilge pump but connected to the lube oil transfer pump. So you got to note this on board your ship but it varies depending on the ship design. So that's it about the coffer dams. Hope you guys got some clear picture of coffer dam. Thank you.